How many times have you heard that somebody in your family has sugar? As a black person in America, you probably have had several people in your family die alone from this sugar. Well, I'm going to tell you the real deal, the bottom line about sugar, also known as diabetes, so you can know what it really is and how you can manage it. But most importantly, how you can avoid it while still going to Medea's house every once in a while for Sunday dinner. Diabetes is a chronic disease in which there are high levels of sugar in the blood. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas to control blood sugar. Diabetes can be caused by too little insulin, resistance to insulin, or both. To understand diabetes, you have to first understand how food is broken down and used by the body for energy. Several things happen when you start eating. A sugar called glucose enters the blood. Glucose is the gasoline for the body. An organ called the pancreas makes the insulin. The role of insulin is to move glucose from the blood into the muscle, fat, and liver cells where it can be used as fuel. People with diabetes have high blood sugar because their body cannot move sugar into the fat, liver, and muscle cells to be stored for energy. This is because either the pancreas does not make enough insulin cells or the cells do not respond to insulin normally or both. Just like anything else, there are types of diabetes, three types to be exact, and the causes and risk factors are very different for each type. Type 1 diabetes can occur at any age, but it's most often diagnosed in children, teens, or young adults. In this disease, the body makes little or no insulin. With this type, you generally have to be on the needle daily, meaning that you have to inject yourself with insulin. The exact cause is unknown, but it does run in families. Symptoms of type 1 diabetes develop over a short period of time, and you may be very sick by the time it's diagnosed. Type 2 diabetes makes up most of the diabetes cases. This is what your cousin usually has and is most often occurring in adulthood, but teens and young adults are now being diagnosed with it because of the high rates of obesity. We have too much fatty food in America. Many people with type 2 diabetes don't even know they have it until it's too late. Because type 2 diabetes develops slowly, some people with high blood sugar don't even know that they have those symptoms. That's why you have to go to your doctor regularly. There is also gestational diabetes, and that's high blood sugar that develops at any time during pregnancy in a woman who does not have diabetes already. But we'll cover that one in another special video. I'm going to tell you more about this disease in part two of this series, so keep watching your favorite doctor, Dr. Corey A. Bear for BlackHealthTV.com.